So now that we have all of our individual uh, layers up, or sorry, individual shape files up for each habitat type, uh, we're going to have to merge them. Have one polygon, one shape file with each uh, habitat type as a field within it. So the first thing before we actually merge all the individual shape files is to make sure that they are, they have a field right here, this one, that describes what they are, text, text field. So this one, high salt marsh, you see it has a habitat field, and they're all under high salt marsh, which is appropriate. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is to add that field. So, go to the drop down, the far left, top left, and there's an add field. And this has to be consistent over all of them, otherwise when the shape files are all merged, they won't be consistent. So we're calling them all habitat, and it's a text. So there we go. It's loaded it all for all the entries. You right click on the, the gray title, and we're going to go to field calculator. And we'll just hit yes, that's fine, not in an editing session. And what we're going to do is habitat equals in this part, we're just going to build another expression that says what kind of habitat it is. So parentheses, start and end. This one is low salt marsh. And close it out with the parentheses. Hit OK. There we go. Loaded them all. All the entries for that individual habitat shape file. So we have to do this for each one. Do this real quick. Habitat. Looks like we already did this one, Habitat Upland. Add field, Habitat, text. Clear. This one was mud flat. I just have one more to do, do open water. Text. Okay. So now that we have all of these entered, we can go ahead and merge all the individual shape files. And to do that, we'll go up to our top toolbar here and we'll go to Geo Processing. And we want to merge, so we'll go down to Merge. And here we have Input Data Sets. So what we're going to do is drop down and give everything that's in our table of contents. So we want to enter each different habitat type. High salt marsh, low salt marsh, middle salt marsh, upland, mud flat and open water. And under here we have output data set. This is the default. So you may want to rename this. And we'll call this uh, merge output. And we have the field map here that shows you all the fields that will be um, in the in the merge shape file. So we got habitat right here, text file, or text uh, field. So I hit OK. So I'll merge everything together and create a new shape file. And there we go. So this purple one is our new combined shape file. It has all the different habitat types. Let's just see how we did here. And there we go. So we have habitat 
and you can see all the different types there. So we're good to go. So now that we have our combined shape file with all the habitat types, the next thing we need to do is to clip this to our project boundary. The uh, interpolation analysis took into account a much larger area than we want to include in our final uh, acreage calculations. So what we want to do is, uh, what we did here is we have a shapefile that has our project boundaries on it. So this is the, this is the actual area that, we, that, that would be affected. And so we're only going to take into account the, the area that falls within here. So in order to do that, we need to clip the, the habitat shapefile with our project boundary shapefile, which is the, this light green shapefile. So to do that, we'll go to Geo Processing, we'll go to Clip, and make sure these are in the same projection. Um, if you don't, you're going to have issues. So the input feature is our habitat shapefile, this merge output we just created. And the clip feature is the project boundary. And you can name this whatever you want to create a new. Well, let's keep it as merge output. Clip. And we don't need to worry about XY tolerance for this. I'll hit OK. And there we go. So essentially, this is our final ship file. And we'll do our, our acreage calculations based on that. Um, that'll be our final data output, but this is it essentially. And what we can do now is we can display it based on the habitat. So we'll, we'll right click on the shape file, go on the properties, and go over to symbology. And we'll go down to categories. And what we want to do is separate this based on the habitat type. So we'll drop down to habitat. And we want to add all values. And this is the default setting. So we'll unclick that. And what we'll get now is a pretty good idea of what habitats we have there. And you can break this out and color code this however you want, but uh, this is our final output. And we're going to base our acreage calculations based on this. And that will be our next and final step.